If you want to go viral on YouTube Shorts in your next post, you need to make sure that you're posting using the right length, the right description, the right tags, and two other things I'm going to share with you towards the end of this video. Because if you're not doing these things right, it's going to destroy the odds that you go viral on YouTube Shorts. In fact, this creator right here literally just made all the changes I'm going to share with you in this video, was able to gain over 3 million subscribers in just 30 days. And it wasn't a one-off event because this creator was able to do the same exact thing and they're in a completely different niche. And the same thing could happen to you if you implement these changes into your content. But First, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to go click on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms, so you're never going to want to miss another piece of my content. The first thing you need to change is you need to understand that every single second counts in your content. A one to two second difference could be the difference between YouTube classifying your video as something somebody wants to watch and then pushing it out or having your video flop. In addition to that, it could be the difference of you hitting the right analytics or not hitting the right analytics. And there are two rules that I want to make sure that you're paying attention to when it comes to the length of your content. First and foremost, I would never upload a YouTube short that is less than eight seconds long. If you do this, it's going to drastically decrease the odds that YouTube actually pushes out your content. Instead, what you need to be doing is you need to be going through for each individual video that you're going to be creating, you need to do a search for that topic, and then you can determine how long you should actually create your video, and here's exactly how you should be doing it. For example, if you wanted to come in right now and you wanted to make a piece of content around Taylor Swift because she's trending like crazy, here's what you need to do. You need to go type in Taylor Swift and to find some shorts, you might want to add hashtag shorts at the end of that or you could click shorts up here and essentially what you want to do is you want to find recently uploaded videos, ideally videos that have been uploaded in the last 30 days, like this creator right here that did only eating like Taylor Swift for a day. Click on this and then what you need to do is change shorts, you need to change this to watch and then you'll be able to see exactly how long the video is so this video right here in specific was one minute long but this doesn't mean you should make a one minute long video because you also need to find a few other videos so ideally what i would do i would go through and do this for four to five different videos and from there you're going to get a really good feel for how long your content should actually be if all the videos turn out to be one minute long i would suggest making a one minute long video if all the videos are 15 to 17 seconds long guess what you should do 15 to 17 seconds or if all the videos are 30 seconds long, it's a really good cue that you should be making your content the same length. Because if you don't create content that's in a similar length, then guess what? YouTube isn't going to classify your content as something that the audience wants to watch, and then they're just not going to push out your content. On top of that though, you need to make sure that you're including ATVs in your content. No, I'm not talking about all-terrain vehicles that you'd be riding if you were in the mountains right now. What I'm actually talking about is there needs to be action, there needs to be text, and there needs to be a voiceover because almost every single video that goes viral on YouTube Shorts has those three components. And if you're not including that into your content, no matter what kind of content you're creating, guess what's gonna happen? You're not gonna get the views that you want and ultimately you're gonna end up not going viral on YouTube and you're gonna think, why am I? not going viral and it's simply because you didn't add ATVs in your content. Let me prove this to you by going through the shorts feed right now and you're going to see that the next five videos that we see that have all gone viral all include this. Okay, so literally to prove this out to you, I am just going to randomly go into the shorts feed and boom, immediately what happens? We have action on the screen, somebody speaking, we have text, and then there's clearly a voice over here. That's why this video has gone viral. Next, the same exact thing. We have immediate action. We have immediate text. We have an immediate voiceover. Next, the same exact thing. What was happening? He's walking out this way. There's text on the screen and there's a voiceover going on to be able to get this person's reaction. That's three. And let's see if the same exact thing happens in the next two. Yes, literally the same exact thing here. There is a voiceover. There is text, there was immediate action with this Fortnite character, a flag popping up, and a bunch of things to be able to grab your attention. In addition to that, there's a girl up here that's commenting on what's going on down here, and that's going to grab your attention. We have one more left to prove to you that literally five out of five viral videos on YouTube Shorts, when I randomly came to my Shorts feed, all include the ATV method, which is proof that your content needs that also. And boom. Literally the same exact thing. We have somebody talking to other people. There is text on the screen and there is a voiceover going on. And just to make myself happy, I'm gonna prove that the sixth video also has this so long that it's gone viral. And boom, again, exactly what it has. It has action on the screen. You're wondering why his eye is messed up. There is text on the screen and there is a voiceover going on. I could literally keep scrolling YouTube shorts for forever probably and see that all of these videos include the ATV method. 
Now, the other reason that you're not going viral on YouTube Shorts right now could simply be that you're using the wrong tags in your content and using the wrong description because you can use the perfect length in your content, but if you're not creating content with the right tags and the right description, YouTube isn't gonna know who to push your content out to, especially if you're new to YouTube Shorts, you're new to YouTube, or your content's been flopping lately, but lucky for you, there's a tool that literally is going to use AI in ChatGPT to tell you the perfect tags and the perfect description to use all based Based off of what your exact audience is interacting with. And that tool that I'm talking about is going to be vidIQ. And if you want to get started with vidIQ today, you could go to the pinned comment below and register right now. It's literally $1 for the next 30 days of access. This could be the thing that completely changes your YouTube channel and gets you more subscribers like when I signed up. In fact, I would have never gotten over 680,000 subscribers on YouTube had it not been for vidIQ. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use it now. Now to show you exactly how to use this, we're going to do this with my next video on YouTube. So here's what's going to happen. You are going to get vidIQ. You're going to sign up like I just shared with you. You're going to get the vidIQ Chrome extension. And then from here, literally all you have to do, this AI description generator, you have to tell it keywords that you want to include in your description. So for this one, this video is going to be about how to grow on Instagram and how to get more views on Instagram. So I'm going to put how to grow on Instagram and how to get more views on Instagram. And then from here, all I have to do is click generate. I don't have to think about it. It is literally going to give me three perfect descriptions and all of these have those keywords in there so that you're going to be able to rank on YouTube and YouTube's going to be able to very easily identify exactly what audience they should be showing your content to. So I'm going to click insert on this one. It's literally going to be populated up there immediately. But if I didn't like any of these, I can click refresh and it is going to go ahead and do them again. But that's not even the craziest thing about this. So if I scroll down a little bit more, I have the tags right here. So you can get recommended tags here based Based off of the tags that you've already put in. So if I put something like how to grow on Instagram, which again is going to be a keyword that I'm going to be ranking for, then these recommended tags down here are going to start to populate. In addition to that, it's going to give you a vidIQ keyword volume score, which is going to be based off of how many searches actually happen for this and whether or not it's a good tag for you to be using. And the lower the score, the less likely that you should be using those tags. And this tool makes it incredibly easy for you to actually find the right tags to use. The only other reason that you're not getting the views that you want to right now on YouTube or you're not going viral on YouTube Shorts is simply because the target audience that you're going after isn't large enough. And as a result, there's not enough people on YouTube for YouTube to actually show your content to for you to be able to get a million. 5 million, 10 million views, but there are three ways that you could fix this if you're in a small niche or you're not getting the views that you want to right now. The first one is you need to take two niches and combine them. The reason that Taylor Swift content right now is going absolutely crazy is because you're taking Taylor Swift and you're combining it with the NFL audience because of Travis Kelsey. Another great example of this is somebody like Alex Hormozzi doing protein meal related content, which is an incredibly searched term for fitness people, even though he's in the business niche. The second thing that you could do is literally just go after the largest search terms within your niche. For example, I titled this video, how to go viral on YouTube shorts and not how to get more views on YouTube shorts simply because more people search for how to go viral on YouTube shorts. So I take the same exact video concept, change one word in the title. And as a result, I end up getting more views on it. Or what you could do is take your niche and combine it with something that is trending right now. For example, if you were creating business related content, you could do something along the lines of three things every business owner can learn from Taylor Swift, or something entrepreneurs can learn from every Taylor Swift fan, or something that alpha males can learn from Taylor Swift, or whatever niche you're in, or whatever target audience you're going after, and what they can learn from trending event. And essentially what's gonna happen there is you're again going to combine your niche with something that is trending, and then as a result, you end up getting more views, which is ultimately going to get you more subscribers. Now, if you're unhappy about the amount of subscribers or the amount of views that you're currently getting right now, I personally want to help you the same exact way I helped this creator and this creator both gain over 3 million subscribers in a really short period of time. In fact, I want to tell you exactly what titles to use, how to edit your content differently, and I want to audit your channel and tell you everything that you should be doing differently and hold you accountable with your posting for the next 30 days. If that sounds interesting to you and you want to work together personally, well, please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you.
The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers. And the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement everything that I share with him in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm going to guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need a thousand subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags use, again, to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers, I will give you your money back zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please, go to the link in the description below. Sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're going to get more subscribers or you're going to get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.